few years ago we set to work on taking that concept to the world and started Canva. So in Perth, which is my hometown, I met an investor called Bill Tai. And he was there and we had a five minute conversation after this event called Inventor of the Year, where we were runner up. <laughs> and um, he said that if I went to San Francisco, he'd be happy to meet with me. And so six months later, I jumped on a plane to San Francisco and met with him. And he said that if I could find a technical team and co-founder, he'd be happy to invest. And so that set off this crazy whirlwind of learning about entrepreneurship and startups and venture capital. Because even though we'd had a company for a few years, we'd never heard about startups. And so everything was like just another being submerged into another whole world. So I ended up spending three months there, meeting a whole bunch of people, learning and reading as much as I possibly could. And um, during that time, I actually was introduced to Lars Rasmussen, who founded Google Maps and Google Wave. And he um, has been absolutely instrumental for us because he said, um, it was, didn't seem instrumental at the time, it was very annoying because he would keep rejecting all the people that I brought to him to be um, on our technical team. Um, and that went on for a full year before we found the right people. But in the end, we've ended up with the most amazing technical team. It was because of that slightly frustrating experience that it turned out so well, I think. We've got the most amazing team here now. We, so when we're hiring our team members, Firstly, we have an extremely high technical bar because we need the best of the best working on our product because it such, has such a big reach. Like we've now got 4 million users who've created over 30 million designs, which is completely crazy. And so having the people that can actually realise that dream and vision technically is really important. But then also people need to be passionate and motivated by what we're trying to achieve here. They need to be go-getters. So people that, you know, if there's a barrier, it just means you need to climb over it or under it or however way you need to, to um, go just to get through it. Um, it's really important that people are not the sort of person that wants to sit back and let things happen because if you do that, things never happen. So it's really important that people are motivated and determined and passionate. Um, build, building a startup is not like a conventional job where you can sort of just go to work and do your job description and then that's it and you can call it a day. You have to sort of jump in and do whatever it takes to you know, deliver amazing value to customers. And so everyone here is like that. They just want to deliver an amazing product. They want to create a magical experience. And I think that that being the driving force behind people's motivations rather than climbing a corporate ladder or some artificial hierarchy, um, I think is what makes the people here so awesome.